Hi everybody. So, I believe this is the final video of the horizontal stabilizer uh, final construction. With me you can see I have one of my club members. Uh, his name is Regis, nice Frenchman, who very active member and huge aviation enthusiast. He uh, dropped by, he wanted to uh, see what all this was about, so he got the standard spiel and introduction and some instruction and then I let him and my friend Mark just go after some uh, rivets squeezed rivets of course very simple to do one thing I will recommend if you have the squeezer is I went ahead and bought the lightweight air hose from Cleveland uh, and wow that thing is valuable makes carting those heavy tools around the work area so much easier one thing though I did not know ooh pardon me is that the lightweight air hose does also come with lightweight uh, air attachments uh, not your standard one quarter inch NPTs uh, but uh, a little bit smaller than that like three sixteenths something like that but they, it comes with a bag full of them so that you can you you can attach I think it comes with three so you can attach your squeezer and uh, you know an, an air drill and uh, rivet gun and then just the other end just you use a standard one quarter inch uh, NPT nipple and it attaches to and in my case it just attaches to a hundred foot air hose which then goes to the air compressor now, when you, one reminder is that, you know, uh, as you increase the length of your air hose, you have to increase the pressure in your tank to get the pressure accordingly. Just because your air regulator says 90 pounds, after 50 feet of hose, you are going to lose some pressure. Uh, anyone that's ever been uh, a home brewer, which I have, or have worked with any kind of... Uh, fluid dynamics like that you do lose pressure as you increase the volume of air uh, due to the volume of the hose easiest way to tell would be just to have um, another gauge at the end of your line showing you the difference in the pressure between the actual regulator at the air tank and at the end of your hose in my case I only lose like uh, three pounds uh, I do have a small leak because the hose that I attach my lightweight hose to is rather old and leaky, just like me. Anyway, so we did a whole bunch of the uh, top rivets there using the squeezer, and uh, Regis learned a lot, and uh, he had to uh, scoot, but uh, it was fun having him out. I'm, ho I'm hoping more and more members will join in on the fun. It's not just free labor for me. <laughs> well, it's not really free. Uh, but it's a great learning experience and everyone should uh, have to build their own plane. That should be part of getting your license. 40 hours of instruction plus you have to uh, build your own plane. So now it's only me left uh, and only have these top rivets. In a second here you'll see me start to get really uh, cutesy with uh, the camera. I wanted to get some close-ups of exactly what's happening. I mean, all you see is my ugly mug or my ass and a squeezer rolling around, but you really don't get a sense of what it is we're doing up top. I got a nice small camera, so I decided to get uh, cutesy with it here. someone stopping by for something. There we go. Now we get cute with it. Naturally, of course, I'm a dumbass and point the camera directly into the sun so that you can't really see anything. This is a little bit better. Also didn't know that the minimum focal length for this camera was about a foot. So 
So I have the adjustable RAM for my squeezer, which is invaluable. Oh, wait, here we go. One of our flight instructors and a uh, good friend of mine, Kirk, who I met at an airport day working in an EAA tent. He's now a member of our club. Anyway, uh, the adjustable throw is great, or just uh, the adjustable RAM. However, there's no lock washer or jam nut on the uh, RAM at the bottom, so as you rivet, it m does have a tendency to move around a little bit. I mean, you are using a ton of pressure, and it is a, basically more or less just a jack screw, so it's, it's good to just uh, recheck your links every once in a while. So anyway, this is the finish. Uh, after this, it, all I have to do is the fairings, which I'm not going to touch until there's going to be final construction. Uh, the fiberglass looks very delicate, and I don't want to screw it up. So, Anyway, hope you like the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Uh, I believe we move on to finishing up the rudder and elevators next. So uh, see you soon.